Okay, hello everyone. I hope you're all well today. Let's get it going. So we're going to start with some basic squats. We've done these before. We're going to add a little reach at the top. So sitting in your chair, kind of in the middle of your chair, legs are bent, heels are flat on the ground. Start to push into your heels, lean forward, stand up. And then as you stand up, reach up, come back down, sit all the way down, sit all the way up, reach up and repeat. Squat, stand, reach. And keep working through the movement, doing the best you can. If it's tough for you to sit down all the way, that's fine. Don't sit down all the way. Maybe you're squatting halfway down and then standing from there, which is totally fine. You're still working on your legs and you're just doing the best you can based on your limitations and skill level. Sit all the way down, all the way up, reach up. One more time. Stand all the way up, reach up, and stay standing, and then grab your dumbbells. So now, get your dumbbells right on top of the shoulders, sitting down. We're going to do that same exact movement. We're still reaching at the top, but now we're holding on to some dumbbells. So we're going to stand all the way up, press all the way up, Come all the way down, sit all the way down, and repeat. Stand, press, lower, sit down. Stand up, press up, lower the weight, lower the hips into the chair. If it's too much with the weight, then put the weight down and just use your arm weight. And if it's still too much for you to sit all the way down and, and uh, get that far down to the ground or down to the chair, then just come down halfway and press up. So it's okay to do some half squats if you can't go all the way down. It's not a problem. Just make sure you're keeping the weight on the heels. Activate your core. Pull in your stomach muscles and tighten them up. Flex your stomach. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, keep the weight on your heels, push the hips back, and one. Take a little breather. Let's work on some balancing. So you'll sit to the side of your chair, one leg bounce, and we're just going to hold this for one minute. So you can hold on to your chair, if you so choose, or you can practice not using your hands at all. If you have something taller and a little more sturdy than a chair, you can use that. Maybe a, a tall dresser, so you can have your hands on top of that if you'd like. Continue to hold, bending the standing leg so that knee is bent on that standing leg. You're feeling the weight on the heel, a little bit of the side of the foot, the ball of the foot, and your toes are really working to help you keep balanced and standing on that one leg, one foot. Think about your core. Pull in the stomach muscles. Keep working on your balance. If you want a little challenge, you can reach up one arm at a time. If it's too much to reach up, you can reach out to the side one arm at a time. You're just kind of throwing off your body a little bit. You're throwing off the balance to the body. Switch legs. Same thing on the other side. Now bend that knee a little. Pull in the stomach, 
tighten up the core. Find that balance, whether you're holding on to something or not. And again, if you want to add a challenge, you can reach up one arm at a time. If it's challenging to reach up, you can reach out to the side. And if that's too much, you can just hold it and stay still and not move your arms. So totally up to you, based on your ability. Keep pulling in the abs, flexing your stomach, and step down, grab your dumbbells again, we're going back to those thrusters, so it's a squat with the shoulder press. Right back to it. We're going for 20. If the weight was too much, put the weight down and just use your arms. Or maybe grab a pair of books. Or you can use one dumbbell with two hands. Okay, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. You can squat down to the chair and press up. Bring it down, then squat down, and press up. So that's two. So you can do it that way. You can do it with two dumbbells, three, or you can do it without the dumbbells, four. Come all the way down. Now I want you to lightly touch the chair with your bum. Light touch, stand up, five. Come down, light touch, stand up, six. Down, up, seven. Remember to pull the stomach muscles in, eight. Tighten up that core, nine. 10. Feel the weight on the heels as you come down and as you stand up, 11. 12. Keep going, 13. 14. 15. 16, almost there. Tight tummy. 17. 18. Light touch with your bum on the chair. 19, last one. 20. Back to the balancing. So right after that, we get next to that object that we were using to help us, if you were using anything. And if not, no worries. Let's get right into it. Balance. Tight tummy, little bend in your knee. Balance. Now try not to lean forward, right? Keep your posture tall, shoulders back. Try to relax your arms as much as you can. Relax the shoulders as much as you can. Remember a little bend in the knee on the standing leg. Pull in the stomach muscles. Play with your arms if you want, one at a time, going to the outside, up above, maybe even to the front. You're just throwing off your center of gravity, which challenges your balance on that standing leg. Almost there. You can move both arms at the same time if you'd like. Makes it a little easier, but it also depends on whether you're holding on to something or not. Switch legs. Balance first. Tighten up the tummy. Always hold on to the object in the beginning. Balance while you're still holding on. Then let go of the chair or whatever piece of furniture or object you're holding on to. Or you're, maybe you're still holding on to it and that's fine. Reach. Move. You have a lot of different directions you can reach with. With your arms, that is. You can go to the front, one arm at a time. To the top, one arm at a time. To the sides, one arm at a time. You can move both arms to the side. Both arms to the front. Both arms to the top. Play with it. What's more challenging for you? For me, it's more challenging to do one arm at a time. Same arm at the, or both arms at the same time. 
gives it a, a equilibrium or, or a balance because they both go out to the side. And so you have that counterweight on both sides. Same thing as you reach up, same thing as you reach forward. You have that counterbalance. But once you put one down, you're offset to one side, which will challenge your balance more. Moving on. Planks. Core, core, core. Turn your chair or set up your chair so that you have enough room to get your elbows down and your legs back like you're in a push-up. You have options. So depending on your chair setup, you can have your hands on the arms of your chair and your legs back. Your body is straight and you're holding a plank. This is beginner. Next level would be hands on the seats of your chairs, on your chair, and then your fingers are running to the outside or overlapping to the outside of your chair. And this is intermediate. Your hands are right below your shoulders. And then the more advanced version, elbows down, right on top of the seat of the chair. And now we're planking. You're flexing your stomach, sucking it in, activating your core. Make sure your elbows are below your shoulders. You need to have good alignment. Think about your mechanics. If you're on your hands, make sure your hands are below your shoulders. And no matter what you're doing with your arms, think about the rest of your body. Suck in the core, keep your legs straight, keep your body straight. And everything is stiff, stiff as a board. A plank, a plank is another name for a stiff board. And that's what you're forming with your body, a stiff, strong, straight body, holding. Flexing the stomach. If you need to take a break, take a break. We're going to take a break in about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and nice and easy. Bring one leg in. Stand up. Shake out those arms. Good job. We're gonna do those again. Shake out those arms. Maybe you're swinging those arms back and forth, loosening them up a little bit. Those are working the shoulders for sure. And what's great about the planks is it gives you shoulder stability. You're using your actual body weight as a resistance and you're not even moving. You're just holding. And that provides strength and stability in the shoulder. So we're going to continue to develop and work on that. Planking again. So now you know what you're doing. Your hands are either up top on the arm bar, on the seat of the chair, or you're going down all the way to your elbows. And let's go for it. Another round. Working on our core. This is probably one of the safer moves that you can do for your spine. Now be careful. As we talk about the spine, don't let your stomach just relax and go down to the floor and now all of a sudden you're arching your back. Don't let that happen. I would prefer it if you lift up your hips and you're bending at the waist up towards the ceiling that way as opposed to sagging down towards the floor. I'd rather have your hips up high and you're not quite straight but you're safer. Right, it's a little bit of a way to alleviate some pressure in your lower back where you raise up your hips a little and you bring your feet in. That'll help support your spine and back. For those who have the strength and stability in the spine and core, again, you're trying to get your body nice and straight. From heel to hips to shoulders, it's a straight line. Just hold it, sucking in the stomach. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring one leg in, stand up, 
Shake out those arms. Maybe move those shoulders again. Good job. Those are hard. Those are really tough, but they're very, very good for the core, lower back, really the whole entire waistline of our body. We're gonna do those one more time, but we're gonna modify and we're gonna add a challenge. So for those of you who have the strength, we're gonna add a little something to it. So let's get down again, either on your hands, on the arm bar, hands on the seat, or elbows on the seat of the chair. And get into position. Tighten up the stomach. Make sure those elbows are below the shoulders or your hands are below the shoulders. And we're holding from right here, one leg only at a time. Bring it in and go right back out. Doesn't matter which leg you're moving because now we're going to do the other side. Come in, step on the ground, support yourself a little bit, bring it right back out. Step in with the toes, support yourself a little, come right back out. And you're going back and forth now. And if you want to add a challenge to this, don't let your toes touch the floor. So it's pretty tough. If you can't do these and you're just holding a plank like the previous two sets we did, keep that core nice and tight. We're going to go for 10 moves. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep those hips up. 4. Keep that core strong. 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Come out of that. Stretch out those arms again, and let's work on our back, our upper back. So the latissimus dorsi is this big muscle right here that runs along the rib cage and to the posterior side of our back. One dumbbell. I'm going to start with the dumbbell on my right hand. Left leg forward, right leg back. Left hand down on the chair, or it could be your hand could be on the arm bar, or you can even have your hand on your leg. So many options here, it's totally up to you. I think I'm going to keep my hand on my leg, but you can have your hand on the chair, either on the seat or on the arm bar. Totally up to you. So from here, right leg back, right arm working. You're going to pull that weight right to your hip, and right back down. Pull up, right back down. Keep your tummy tight. Just like when we were planking a moment ago, you want to think about that core being strong and your spine straight. And we just pull the weight right to your hip, right towards your pocket. Let's do six more. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Switch. Now right leg forward, left leg back, left arm working. And I'll give you the, uh, the good profile view. Okay, so from right here, left arm, nice and straight. Pull that weight towards your hip. We're going to go for 12 total. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. All right, put the weight down. Calf raises. I want you to have something to hold on to on this one. I don't want you to worry about your balance. I want you to focus on your calves. So from here, your feet are about hip width apart. Raise the heels as high as you can. Stay there. Don't move. Lift up the heels. Hold it there. Really digging the ball of your foot, that big bone by the big toe. Pressing that into the ground. Feeling the weight going inward 
towards your big toe. Because you can feel if your ankles roll out and your foot rolls to the outside, to the pinky toe side. Think about keeping your feet moving inwards towards the big toe. And the ankles stay in. Lift as high as you can and hold it there. Now we're going to worry about the balance. Walk around while you have your toes up. You're going to look really silly, but who cares? No one can see you. Keep the heels up and just walk. Maybe a couple steps to the front, a couple steps to the back. You can go around your living room or wherever workspace you're in. Make sure you are free of tripping hazards, right? Watch out for your dumbbells if they're on the floor. Keep the heels up and just walk around. Definitely get some side steps in so you can see how I'm moving to the side. Get some of those in there. It's always good to move laterally with our legs and our feet. Keep the heels up. Keep them up. Keep them up. I know those calves are really working and that is the point. And now come back to your object. Keep the heels up. The object that was helping you balance. Now let's go up and down for 10. Lower the heels, raise as high as you can, that's one. Lower, raise, two. Lower, raise, three. Four, five, lift as high as you can, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Shake out those legs. You should have really felt it in the back of your lower leg. And that's what we're going for, the calf. Grab the dumbbell again. We're going back to the rows. One leg forward, one leg back. I'm starting with my left leg forward, right leg back, right hand holding onto the dumbbell. I'm gonna have my left hand on top of my left thigh. My spine is straight. Strong core, row. Let's go for 15 on this one. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Tight tummy, nine, ten. Flex that core, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch. Right leg forward, left leg back. Left arm straight down, and we're going to row. Pull it in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flex the stomach. Seven, eight. Remember to bring that weight to your hip. Nine, ten, five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, put the weight down, moving on. Okay, so while we're standing, again, holding on to an object, something sturdy, so we don't have to worry about our balance. We're going to lift the toes first, keep the heels down. Then lower the toes, raise the heels up. Raise the toes, raise the heels. Raise the toes, raise the heels. Now as you're doing this, going back and forth between the toes coming up and then the heels coming up, you're trying to lift as high as you can for both. All right, lifting the toes as high as you can, then lifting the heels as high as you can. You want to try to minimize your hips moving out and shifting as you try to pick up the toes. Try not to let your bum pop out. And then as you try to do your heel raise, try not to let your hips move forward. So that's the challenge, is trying to keep your hips in alignment with the rest of your body, which makes it pretty challenging. All right, so flex your stomach, hold on to your object, raise the toes as high as you can while keeping the hips in alignment with the rest of the body, lifting the toes, 
then the heels. Toes, heels. Toes, heels. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Moving on. We're going to stay standing. And we're going to work on some side steps. We're going to finish with this. So you start with your feet about hip width apart. Good athletic stance, right, where your knees are bent and you're ready. Okay, so arms, whatever you want to do, whatever's comfortable. I'm going to just kind of have my arms bent in front of my body. But as we move through the exercise, you can adjust and do whatever you want with your upper body. I'm going to step to my right. Pretty big step. Squat. Come in. I'm going to step to my left. Squat. Come in. Step to the right. Squat. Not a very big squat. We're not doing a big squat like we did in the beginning of our routine where we're trying to get our bum to the chair. We're just focusing on sidestepping and doing a little squat. And it takes a little bit of coordination and balance to sidestep, maintain your balance, and then descend down. And as you get better, with your balance, with your coordination, with the squatting, you can get lower in your squat. But first develop the foot speed, the foot mechanics, then focus on getting low on the squat later. And at the center of everything, as always, is our core, keeping it nice and tight, side step, squat. Side step squat. Side step squat. Two more on each side. One and one. Two and two. Okay. One last move. Lunge. Make sure you have enough room in front of you and behind you. So just do a little check behind your body. First things first, right leg only. We're going to do five moves with the right leg to the front and back. That counts as one rep. So you're going to take a step forward, a little bend in the knees, both knees. You lunge down, push off, come back. Take a step back with that same leg, bend the knees a little. Come out of that, bring your feet together. That is one. Front step, lunge, come back. Back step, same side, same leg, lunge down, bend the knees, that's two. To the front, lunge, bend the knees, come back, step back, bend the knees, that's three. So it's a very, very big exaggerated step. And as you land, you want to bend the knees down, or bend the knees as you go down. Same thing as you go backwards. That's four. Last one. Step forward, bend the knees, then step backwards, bend the knees. Now let's do the left leg only. Stepping to the front, lunge down. To the back with the same leg, lunge down. To the front, lunge. To the back, lunge. To the front, bend those knees. Bend to the back, working that same leg. Stepping to the front, bend the knees. Stepping to the back, bend the knees. One more time. Front, come back, step back, and that's it. Great job. Finishing with that, that was perfect. Multi-plane uh, movement with our legs is very important just in case if you think about it, we definitely move to the front and we move to the back and we take our side steps. You may not be exaggerating as much as we did on the squats and the lunges, but it just helps you to have that stability, balance, and strength for just the basic movements that you do every day in life. So, very functional. Great work. All done.
Drink some water. It is hot. Crazy heat wave coming through. Oh my goodness. Water, water, water. 